Hi, I'm Hope Friday from the Diabetes Center. Now that you have diabetes, I'm going to talk to you about blood sugar testing. Whether you've been testing for 10 years or you're new to testing, um, there are just some things that we'd like to go over. First thing is gather your supplies. So you should have your meter, your test strips, and your Lancet. Before you start testing and after you've gathered your supplies, make sure you wash your hands with soap and water. Lotions we wear, food we touch, has sugar in them and can give you false readings. So you wanna make sure your hands are clean and dry before you test. Once you've washed your hands, we get your Lancet ready. The Lancet is the, the little device that pricks your finger. You'd want to insert a new Lancet every time that will be the sharpest and cause the least discomfort. If you're finding that you're having frequent sore fingers, it might be because you're not changing your Lancet often enough. Once you've loaded your Lancet and you put the cap back on it, I would pull out the test strip and insert it into the meter. Most meters turn on when you put your, your test strip inside. Once it's on, you always want to check your code if it's a coding meter. You want them to match. If they don't, you need to change that before you test. Otherwise, your test will not be accurate. Once you've inserted the strip, go ahead and get a droplet of blood from your finger. When you're testing, you want to test on the side of your finger, not in the fleshy middle part. It will be less uncomfortable to test on the side, and you can get just as much blood from there. Once you've pricked the side of your finger, you want to wipe away the first droplet of blood. If any sugar had been left on your hands after washing, that would get rid of that in that first droplet. You might need to squeeze your finger starting at the base of your palm and working forward, producing a second drop. That is what you'll want to use to test. Once you've applied the blood, most strips will wick the blood up inside, so you just need to touch your test strip into the blood, then the, the number will show up. Once your number is there, strongly encourage you to write down what your blood sugar is. The best part of writing these down is you can start to see a pattern. Maybe it's first thing in the morning your blood sugars are always higher, or maybe it's in the afternoon when you go out with your friends and you need to reevaluate what you're eating at those times. The most important thing is testing can tell you what you're doing right now and how it's affecting your blood sugars. It also gives you and your physician valuable information on what to do next if they're not within goal. Maybe they're too low at certain times of the day or too high. In another segment, we talk about where your blood sugars should be. So if you find yourself outside of those goals, you would want to definitely have that conversation either with your diabetes educator or your physician. For more information about blood sugar testing and the different meters available, please call the Diabetes Center at Trinity Regional Medical Center, 574-6350. Thank you.